please define for me a black hole? Who can define a black hole? Always fun to talk about. I love black holes. Okay, raise your hand if you've never heard of a black hole. <laughs> right? See, you've all heard of them. In fact, there was a movie that came out in the 80s called The Black Hole that I wanted to go see, but it was rated PG, and my told parents told me I couldn't go. I remember that. It was made by Disney. It was a terrible, terrible movie I saw when I was in college. Anyway, that's not what I'm talking about. What is a black hole? Yes, Nate? Like a star that the light can't see. It is a so our, uh, well, well, we'll go with, there, there are examples that can be stars, there are examples that, that also weren't stars. So let's start with our star, just as an example. Our star will never become a black hole. Approximately five billion years from now, our star will die. And it will start out its death by increasing in size, such that the radius, I believe, gets slightly larger than the orbit of the Earth. Hopefully we will have exited the planet by then, because the planet will no longer exist. And then it will die down into something called a white dwarf and it'll basically just peter out from there. If a star is large enough, it will collapse and become a black hole. In order to understand what a black hole is, I'm going to do this visual demonstration for you. I'll try again. Here we go. Was I able to permanently exit the pull of gravity of the Earth? No, unfortunately not. But I think that you would agree that if I could launch myself fast enough, I could leave the surface of the planet. Right. I believe it's around 11,000, just over 11,000 kilometers per second. No, I'm sorry, 11 kilometers per second. Um, anyway, it doesn't matter. So, and that is dependent on, uh, among other things, we'll just call it the density of the planet, okay? or the density of the star. If that star is dense enough, that, that uh, escape velocity will increase, and it can get to the point where the escape velocity is greater than the speed of light. And we've just shown that nothing can go faster than the speed of light. Therefore, if you have something that is dense enough and massive enough, you will have a black hole where nothing can escape. The funny thing about this is it's not that there's nothing there, it's that there is so much there that we can't see it. Because nothing can get out, not even light. So how do you prove the existence of a black hole if you can't see it? Man. Isn't that if there's still, it still has a gravitational pull? It does. It has a gravitational pull. So we can find evidence that one would exist. For example, we could find a star in orbit around nothing. Right? It, it, a star can't be in orbit around nothing. It has to be around or in orbit around something that has some sort of mass. And we found binary star systems where there appears to be only one star, where you've just got one star moving very quickly around some sort of spot. Now, what's interesting about this this is an artist's depiction of a binary star system of a star and a black hole. Because eventually what's going to happen is that black hole is going to start to consume the star. Okay. And the black hole. As you recall, one of the examples was we have a star that collapses. I did an example right up here where I, had, I sat on that stool and I pulled my arms in. What happened to my angular velocity when I pulled my arms in? I increased my angular velocity because of conservation of angular momentum. The same would be true for the star. It would go from spinning uh, however, however fast to increasing its angular velocity quite a bit. So black holes in general are spinning at very high angular velocities. And so this mass that's coming from the star and getting absorbed into the black hole is not only going to, going to just get absorbed into the black hole, some of that, uh, some of those particles are actually going to be ejected out the top and bottom of the black hole. And this is a picture that we think is a star being eaten by another star. And this is the um, material being ejected out the top or the poles of the moving black hole. Does the existence of this prove the existence of a black hole? Does it prove they exist? No, it does not. But it's about as good as we can do. Can we get close enough to a black hole to, to prove that it exists? No, it's an unfortunate thing. Uh, there are a couple 
issues with that. One, we'll talk about the concept of an event horizon. As you get closer and closer to a black hole, the acceleration due to gravity increases. Uh, the general theory of relativity, which Einstein also did, showed that the higher the acceleration due to gravity, the smaller, the, or the, the, how, uh, the more time slows down. Higher acceleration due to gravity, the more time slows down. And if you get close enough to a black hole, at the event horizon, time will actually stop. But that's actually only for observers who are looking from outside. If the person who's actually going into the black hole, time would not stop. So there's this, this sphere around black holes where the time actually stops for us. In addition to that, I always like to talk about spaghettification, which is an actual uh, physics term. We've already determined that the acceleration due to gravity is dependent on the distance from the planet, right? We showed that the acceleration due to gravity at the top of Mount Everest is 9.79 meters per second squared. We showed that it was pretty much negligible for on planet Earth. Well, it's not negligible around a black hole. Around a black hole, because it is so dense, the acceleration of gravity at my feet is actually different than the acceleration of gravity at my head. It doesn't matter here, but if I get close to a black hole, the acceleration of gravity on my feet is going to be larger than the acceleration of gravity on my head, and I'm going to get spaghettified, pulled into a piece of spaghetti, which in the long run would not be good for me. I would not be able to survive. So there are some issues with trying to get close enough to a black hole to prove that one exists. It has been shown that we think that a black hole exists at the middle of every galaxy. This is a picture of a galaxy with the material being ejected out the center of the galaxy. This is a picture of another galaxy with the material being ejected out the center of 